Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Uh, today we're going to hunt the 1960 large dates for any DDOs and DDRs. This was one of the mega rolls. I don't know what those rolls are called. It was like a German plastic tube that held the coins. And over time, they end up just suctioning around the coin. So this particular one, we had to, just like the 60D, manhandle the coins out of it. So this ender got ruined. <clears throat> but... I'm going to hunt the rest of these and see if we can find something. There are some cool DDRs where the designer's initials, the FG, is really elongated. And we'll see if we can find anything else. So let me pour these out and I'll bring it back in. See you in a second. Alright, so as you can see it is a BU red roll. And I'm going to check these one by one, see if we can't find something. Maybe I'll do like 10 at a time, and then I'll bring you back in. See you in a second. All right, I hunted the first 10 coins, and you can see here, this is DDO number tw DDR number 12. And one of the signs is doubling in the T here and under the N the FG and in the C so you see here I have doubling under the T <clears throat> and then I had it in here let me see there's notching right here and here and over here under the N <clears throat> and then there's notching in the C right there and in the E and then there's doubling under the letters. It's a little notching in the end right there. So I have two of those. So I believe those are DDR number 12. Let me uh, get into the next 10. See if we can find anything else. Alright, I'm not sure how many I've gone through. Maybe like another 15. But this, I'm not sure if this is a strike through. It's on the rim, too. But it doesn't look like damage. It looks like a strike through of some sort. And I'm not 100% sure. But I'll hold it aside. Keep on looking. See you in a second. All right, I'm down to about <clears throat> maybe the last 12 coins. I figured uh, just to make it a little bit more exciting, I'd bring you in to show you a few. And uh, I'm not really seeing much on this batch. A lot of them are having this notch in the O. I don't know what that is there. Some specific die has a uh, notch in the O. You haven't found anything out of the ordinary with the FG. <clears throat> but a lot of the ones with the DDR12, you can see the notching in the C here. Under the N. You can see that there. It's hard to see under the T, but there's a little line on each side. So I'm finding 
enough of those, but I don't think they're really worth anything. Nothing there. Looks like some damage next to the eye. No doubled eyelid. See the O? This is the same obverse die that we just looked at. Can't tell on the EN, looks the same. <clears throat> so it's really not much different than what you've already seen for the first couple but you never know nothing there some significant damage there okay <clears throat> no Nope. All right, I'll br do one more. And then I'll bring you back in if I do find anything else. Got some dye chipping right up here. <clears throat> some heavy abrasions. Looks like a die chip was possibly right in there. Still that dot inside the O. <clears throat> Nothing abnormal in the FG. Get the notching in the C right there. All right, let me get into the last few of these. If I come across something, I'll bring you in for it. All right, well, nothing too crazy. I mean, it was $6 for the roll. We did get a few of the DDR, I believe I said 12, and that one strike through right down here where am I right down there so not bad I mean all in all they're nice red coins all right <clears throat> if you enjoyed this hunt it was a kind of a quick hunt um, and you find yourself coming back to watch my videos Please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos, and hit that like button. It does help out the channel make its way through YouTube's algorithm. Alright everybody, I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.